Hello ladies and gentlemen, Jim here. Hawaii's Kilauea volcano erupted from its summit early Thursday, shooting a huge plume of ash miles into the sky and prompting authorities to urge area residents to take cover. The Hawaii Volcano Observatory said the explosion within Kilauea's Halamaumau crater had produced a volcanic cloud that reached as high as 30,000 feet and was drifting downwind to the northeast. The observatory said residents living along the path of the ash plume should take shelter and maintain a code red aviation alert signaled on Tuesday, meaning no air traffic was permitted in the area. At any time, activity may again become more explosive, increasing the intensity of ash production and producing ballistic projectiles near the vent, it said in a statement. Now, uh, so far, some 40 homes and other buildings have been destroyed by the red-hot lava that has been flowing from the volcano since early this month. Authorities have warned residents to stay away from the neighborhoods evacuated, warning that toxic sulfur dioxide seeping out of nearly two dozen fissures, that's cracks in the ground, caused by the volcano could prove deadly. So you have the, uh, the ballistic uh, blocks flying out of there. You have uh, this uh, volcanic cloud going 30,000 feet into the air. You have lava. This is not a situation, folks, that seems to be letting up in any way, shape, or form. Uh, keep the people of this area of Hawaii in your prayers. And if you don't belong near here, please, folks, stay away from here. This is truly something. And as I said earlier, it could it possibly be indicative of some greater activity to start taking place along the Ring of Fire. I will leave you a link to this. Please uh, subscribe to my channel if you haven't done so already. Check out the, uh, I'm sorry, uh, give this video a thumbs up, share it if you feel so led to. Now I'll remind you, check out the link below to my new fiction book, Light, A Wayfarer's Story, in Kindle and paperback. Uh, most importantly of all, do not be given over to the spirit of fear but instead of the power of love and of a sound mind that comes through our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. God bless you. Stay woke and read light, a Wayfarer's story, available in Kindle and paperback at the link below.